The following is a special presentation, Brave Conquers Fear. So nice to meet you. Courage comes in all kinds of forms, and courage from one brings out the best in others. We all face challenges in our lives, and seeing someone overcome shows us we can too. It's amazing. Courage can spread kindness across the country. It seems like such a simple thing, but it's a miracle. It proves age doesn't have to limit you. The reason I do it is to encourage other people. It steps in to help find a cure for a friend. That was a day I'll never forget. And steps out to share secrets so others will embrace their passion too. It's like your dream is happening all around yes, you. Yes, right it now. is. These are the stories that inspire. These are the stories of Brave Conquer's Fear. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cheryl Preheim. Dante Sipp is a young gymnastics coach who says he needed a miracle to save his life. He was running out of hope and time. That miracle came through a stranger, a young mom who just happened to hear his story. Lauren says she knew she was the person meant to help him. Round off, long and go. No one will ever forget this night, go. this practice. Good, better, I take it. And it has nothing to do with Round practice off. at all. Dante is a big part of our family. It's fast, fast. Like Coach Dante Sip right. Good, I like it. has no idea that his mom and brothers are in the next room. So he doesn't even know we're here right now. Hey, how are you? And no idea Lauren, who's donating a kidney to Dante, has planned a party so they can finally all meet in person. And it's going to happen right before our very eyes really soon. This is yours! Lauren brought gifts, t-shirts she made in honor of what brought their lives together. Praying hands, holding the kidneys. And will keep them connected always. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Feels like family already. <laughs> She's saving my life. I'm surprised. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah I'm surprised. How would you thank somebody for saving your life? <laughs> Looking on, Dante's team, happy and amazed to see the woman who will help save the coach they love and were afraid they would lose. You want to come in? Sometimes there aren't words. Can I get a hug? Can yes. I get a hug? <laughs> their hugs are their thank yous. Second chances, life. You can't describe an angel. Family. Two, three. All worth celebrating. Still walking on clouds, so I'll, I feel good. I feel amazing. <laughs> the next time they'll see each other. Are you nervous? We'll be on transplant day. I'm more excited than nervous. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm not excited. nervous at all. Yeah. There's a peak. No one here will ever forget this night. So I jumped out of a plane last year. This is about what it feels like. It's very exciting. <laughs> yes, we ready. All right. <laughs> See, I wanna, I wanna do it now. <sighs> they will never forget how it feels to see the power of kindness and courage. Yeah. Dance. <laughs> We're going to say Brave Conquers Fear. One, two, three. Brave Conquers Fear. Their friendship was instant. It's like they'd always known each other. On surgery day, two families who'd only known each other a few weeks felt like one. And from this day, their lives would always be connected. <laughs> we have fish. We, we family now. Good. Really good. Good. I get a brother today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get I get a sister. Do you like my French beret? <laughs> Just a tangible thing to actually see him receiving this gift and her being able to give this gift, and I, you know, I'm certain they will be lifelong friends. So it's truly a blessing. For me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel good. I feel like I am. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm this big, 
You know, compared to this small. I, I, like it. I like your I hat. Like we got matching hats. <laughs> I like it. All right, give me a hug. Whenever uh, Dr. Tan is ready, I just go pick up the kidney, bring it in, and sew it in. And uh, the beauty of living donors, we start the kidney, seeing the kidney working right away. So that's that's tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> Relief. Both of them are what's good about America, and I think that's one of the best things to focus on is that two strangers from two completely different backgrounds came together to make a, a life-saving, you know, sacrifice. It wasn't enough for Dante Sip to get a life-saving, life-changing gift and a new friend in his donor, Lauren. They both said they felt a responsibility to help others in the same position. So two months after surgery, their Brave Conquers Fear team helped lead the kidney walk. Dante Sips waited eight years for this. I finally got my recipient uh, banner. That feels real good, man. Made possible by Lauren Larison, who will proudly wear donor. How you doing? We're here. Yes. So many ways to bring forth awareness, but I feel like this is, you know, such a large group, a gathering to really like get the word out there. I mean, there's what a hundred thousand people that are on the needs list every single year and only about a third of those get donations. Two months after their kidney transplant surgery, they feel like their journey together is really just beginning. I, like I might be the donor as far as like this side goes, but I'm the recipient of a blessing from him because, I mean, Dante's taught me so much. I mean, Hoping their connection helps a lot of other people. If people see donations happening, they are more encouraged to actually do it themselves. This is what everything was for, right? Yes, absolutely. So walk here in victory. We made it uh, literally to the finish line. So. Woo! <laughs> Many more good times to come. Even before she was old enough to fully understand, Emily Chope Bridges has hoped for and worked towards finding a cure for cystic fibrosis. That courage to believe in what sometimes felt impossible was inspired and fueled by a lifelong friendship. This is a 1934. Classic cars have been a constant around the Choate house. It's really one of only seven known to be left in the world. Growing up around cars, I just was always in love with them. At 10, Emily picked out her dream car. The 1969 Z28 Camaro. When she was 17, she got it. Leanne and I would go to car shows. Leanne, the other constant around the house all of those years. We met when we were two, but really that means our moms were friends. They grew up together. I mean, that's your bestie uh, for life. She's a sister. And together faced the challenges that came with cystic fibrosis. My daughter's best friend was diagnosed at the age of three. The average age of survival was 13. Many of those patients with low lung function will feel that they're struggling to breathe and feel a sense of shortness of breath, like be breathing through a straw. The Choates are a family of builders, doers, working on projects all over the city. As a family, they dedicated themselves to a new project, supporting the effort to find a cure. Leanne is one of all of us. The family combined their constants, classic cars, and a love for Leanne to create a car show to raise money for research. They were all woven into each detail of each other's lives. There was a, a resiliency about her. Times they didn't expect to have. Just an amazing day. The girl doctors thought would live to be 13 was married when she was 30. It just represented um, how far Leanne has come. And part of Emily's wedding too. The room was just buzzing with energy of happiness and gratitude and joy. Um, that was a day I'll never Leanne passed away on November 1st. Soon after, a possible breakthrough treatment, and now word it is the game changer they hoped for. The FDA just approved that drug, Trikafta. It's a new miracle drug that will be coming to over 90% of the CF population. There are a lot of ugly tears going on, and I'm feeling them come on now. We're on the cusp of of uh, whipping this disease once and for all. Leanne is still a constant in the Choate house. Leanne's courage is something we can all look to. And Emily feels her best friend's spirit strongly as she organizes another car show for a cure for Leanne. While we ran out of time with Leanne, 
it is her life that will propel us forward. When Brave Conquers Fear continues, So you gonna enjoy that one? The courage to dedicate your life's work to fulfill a need. I was coming down to the straightaway and I thought, I'm gonna win this thing. And the courage to ignore limits. Allison Taylor found the career that she knows she's meant to do because of the health struggles her son went through. She wants to show the same care and support that meant so much to her family to others, one book at a time. You can I am not going to get up. Good. Stories come to life when you can relate to them. Do you know this word? That's true for Kennedy and her friend, who she calls the book lady. That's right. And this is their home, too. I'm Allison Taylor. I'm the librarian. Long before Ms. Allison spent her days here, children's health care was a big part of her family's story. Countless visits to the emergency room. She'd bring her son, William, Often. He had a disease in his esophagus. Books were a needed distraction and some entertainment when his own story was so painful. Changed my son's life. Once William was well, this former English teacher knew she could help bring stories to life and relate to the stories of patients in a place that can feel overlooked at times. The first thing I had to do was look up Hugh Spaulding. It's a third hospital that I didn't know anything about. Hugh Spaulding is next to Grady Hospital. Hey, Kanaji. I told you I was coming. Each book is a gift. It's got the history because I know you're interested in it. It inspires learning for kids it's like Kanaji, who miss a lot of school. It's not a fun place to be all the time. And a delivery okay. is always a dose of love and care. Like the king of Wakanda. So are you going to enjoy that one? Let him know that somebody here is taking time to bring him something that gives him a little pleasure from, you know, all of this. I feel such joy to see that they are getting something good while they're here. You Thank too. you so much. Always understanding the most important story unfolding comes from the person holding the book. You've come so far. Just so deserving, and they make me count my blessings every single day. Take care. It takes courage to dedicate your life to help other people. John Lockett is 83. Every day he walked into work as a school custodian, he says he knew he could impact a child. And he did in ways he couldn't have imagined. It has the energy and sounds of a celebration for the end of school. But it's a celebration for someone at school. He's very nice. Who's been there day in and out for longer than some of their parents have been alive. For four years. This is John Lockett's retirement surprise. That gonna make me cry. After 40 years wow. of serving as the school custodian. Their cards and chants are a thank you after generations of students. They were beautiful and surprised to death. I was surprised to death. Mr. John, Mr. John says all he wanted was to make a difference. There's no question about that. Andrea Harrison hopes people see her story and have the strength to start something they didn't think they could do, no matter their age. Blessings. Every day is a chance to do something you didn't think you could do. To walk in here and do these machines. When Andrea Harrison works out, she proves that to everybody around her. She is a huge inspiration to all of us here at the fitness center. She inspires her family too. I'm Gammy. I'm the mother of six, the grandmother of 14, and four great-grands. What well, gives me a goal? She always loved sports, but grew up at a time where there weren't teams for girls. She started running when she was 50, when her son wanted to start a cross-country team. Well, they call it the gammy shuffle. <laughs> her family has kept her going all these years. My three boys are my coaches. Step after step, she thinks of the ones she loves. She jokes that's why she runs distance, 5Ks. Of course, it takes me three miles to pray for the whole family. There's so many of them. <laughs> and she is fast. Her kids told her she should try something big, the senior games and Olympics. I'm in the old lady group, 85 to 89. At 85 years old, Grammy won gold. This is a gold from the 800. I was coming down to the straightaway, and I thought, I'm going to win this thing, and that was just, just, just fun. She's so competitive. She makes us all think before we decide, oh, we don't want to go to the gym one day. Because she does it, we can do it. Well, it's just part of me. It's Andrea Harrison reminds us all that every day is a chance to be healthy and to prove what's possible. The reason I do it is to encourage other people.
Andrea says the motion of running quiets the commotion of the world around her. And she runs because she can, a perspective that's close to her heart because her twin sister is suffering from dementia. <laughs> Next. If you're happy, you know we clap your hands. She's the sunshine of our classroom. Brooklyn Grace helps light up a world she cannot see. You're funny, Mom. <laughs> you're funny. And a girl with autism finds her voice to share a message of kindness all across the country. Brave Conquers Fear is a saying that my son came up with before he had open heart surgery. He wrote it down on a piece of paper with a Sharpie and told me it was a t-shirt design. Joshua said it reminded him to be strong when he felt scared. Sometimes uh, people say love, love conquers hate, but I made up a different one. Brave Conquers Fear. Brave Conquers Fear. How could he have known? Before open heart surgery, Cheryl and Mark turned that drawing into a t-shirt for Joshua, his family, and nurses. Miracles were not happening like miracles didn't happen. Joshua would not be here. His heart is healed and he was ready to share his bravery again. Joshua had one wish to share his t-shirt with other families. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that I made. His message resonates in these rooms. Now she is a brave girl. Mm -hmm. Three surgeries and she has a heart transplant. I like have an opportunity to show like that I went through it. All around that hospital there are families that went through so much more than we did. And we would say, gosh, we are so lucky. Blessed and convinced more than ever that Joshua was right all along. Brave conquers fear, and love conquers all. Parents of children with special needs navigate a lot of challenges and worry. The Moore family faced that concern with courage to take on a project that they hoped would help their daughter. It ended up touching the lives of thousands of people all over the country. Just keep coming in all day. The activity in the Moore's basement is as inspiring as the message of their unexpected family business. Jordan Shirt Shop. Jordan is 17. She has autism. She loves to dance, is the star employee. You're doing great. You are doing great. And the reason the work started. Her major fear was, what is she going to do when she gets out of high school? When she ages out of the system, she wasn't able to independently do a task. They came up with a t-shirt design to teach job skills, folding. She has a lot Packaging. She's able to do them independently now. Sorting. We roll shirts. You roll shirts. Jordan's mom, Jackie, says the work has been life changing. It seems like such a simple thing, but it's a miracle. Jordan did not say a word until she was six. Very little interaction. You're funny, mom. <laughs> You're funny. Connection, emotion, and doing a complex series of tasks is more than they hoped for. Oh, extremely proud. Each bit of growth took courage, patience, and hard work. J O R D Y. When we first started, they were kind of messy, and she's made them really neat. You're doing great. Very hardworking. Jordan works next to Sarah for hours every week. There's just like a connection, I don't know. Like she just, she's like my best friend, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they go to high school together, and together they are an example of their message. Just to be kind to everyone, no matter what. She's equally as important as everybody else. She has come so far. The Moors haven't even had time to update the map of orders for their growing movement of kindness. You giving me a present? Yeah. Jordan has a vision for her future now and gifts of hope she loves sharing with the world. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Brooklyn Grace Hunt is a bright light in a world she cannot see. She's blind because of a rare congenital condition, but she's a combination of joy, positivity, and bravery that is an example to everybody she meets. Simply amazing. Brooklyn Grace is sunshine. So nice to meet you. And at Pine Log Elementary, she's an example of what is possible. Can you twirl? <laughs> She was about seven weeks old when we found out about her condition. Brooklyn is blind because of a rare congenital condition called septo-optic dysplasia. She may not see the world around her,
but she embraces every bit of it. If you're happy, you know we clap your hands. She's the sunshine of our classroom. Our kids love her. Clap your hands. The adults love her. Even though she has a disability, she can work through it, and she can be just as capable as anybody else in our school system. And she has a gift for music. Her mom, Lexi, saw it before Brooklyn could talk or walk. We had to learn how to create a YouTube page. So. <laughs> and already has a YouTube following. Had a few people we met on vacation that followed her page, actually, that kind of fell in love with her. She is learning her way and at three, already giving her friends an example to follow. We're just really proud of her. If you're happy and you know, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. Yay. It actually made me embarrassed. He hid his talent for 50 years. He says cancer is the gift that compelled him to stop deferring his dream. Columbus Cook says he never imagined what would happen next. There are things we assume we'll do later in life. Columbus Cook hopes his story will have you reconsider that. He's a father of seven, successful businessman and Air Force Master Sergeant. But he put off the one thing he really wanted to do until now. Facing death has given him the courage to fully live. But that was very fun. There are skills we practice, Smooth this even master. Create something and express myself. But some talents are just given. Remember at age four that I was able to draw and not draw like a kid. People noticed Columbus Cook was a child with an extraordinary gift for art, a savant, they said. But he was made to feel bad about it, different than the other kids. It, it actually made me embarrassed, and so I was afraid to be out and communicate with the public using my fine artwork. He spent his entire life hiding his gift. I'd always work behind a closed door in the house. He grew up to have a family, served in Desert Storm. This one is in Grant Park by the zoo. Eventually, he did illustrations for architects, creating some of Atlanta's most recognizable places. But it wasn't the kind of art he loved most. I'll do it later, he'd say. When I had retired from the military, and then I could you know, get out there, start expressing myself. Then he found out later was a luxury life would not offer him. When the brain cancer came up, it really just changed a whole lot of things. At that point, he did not recognize me by name, which was really painful. The tumor was growing so fast and he was a little bit disoriented. Stage four brain cancer, so aggressive he had surgery the day after doctors found his tumor. But he had a complete moment of clarity where he said, if I make it to the other side, I promise you, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do art. I'm going to do what I was put here on earth to do. No more hiding his gift. No more dreams deferred. His friends helped build an art studio in the basement. This is my mother, but just kind of represents her. He started seeing the world in a different way. The Optune device. Columbus Cook wears this device 18 hours a day. It sends signals into his brain to confuse the cancer cells so they can't multiply as quickly. So I can feel it now heating up. It buys time, more time, to embrace the freedom he found 50 years later to fully express himself. That's the part that I actually love about it. Art is his gift. Columbus says cancer is too. It's helped him see his life differently. Just never give up. Keep hoping and praying that opportunity, it is out there for you. It doesn't really matter whether you have 10 years or 10 days. What matters is how you spend that time. Columbus Cook says he'll use his gift for as much time as he's given. So much that I feel that I want to share with the rest of the world. Columbus shared with us that his bucket list dream was to have a public art exhibit, and it happened just a few weeks later. Pretty amazing. There isn't a day in our lives that is a guarantee. Thumbs up, all right. That fact is the filter the Cook family sees every moment through. That is awesome. Especially a day they didn't think would come wow. for a lot of reasons. 
Absolutely surreal. It looks incredible in here. Thank you so much. Think about it. This public art exhibit grand opening Thank you, baby. comes 26 days after Columbus Cook first shared any of his art publicly. I hear A board member for the Hudgens Center for Art saw that story. And the rest is history. Wow. Just see something that I've been hiding all these years. It's like your dream is happening all around yes, you. Yes. Right it now. It is. It is. <laughs> and consider this is a day doctors didn't think Columbus would live to see. They tell me that this is my last month to live. But at the end of the day, I don't live my life that way. I take it one day at a time. Thank you so much. The one part of his life he spent 50 years hiding is the one thing that brought people from all parts of his life together. He's living in a totally different way. Some of this work your children had never seen. Exactly. Including his son, David. It means a lot. It means, you know, his art really is reaching out to a lot of different people. This is newer work. Wonderful. It is Columbus Cook's legacy of a greater appreciation for beauty. You know, don't hide what it is that you truly do. And time. There's a lot that he still has yet to give. Those are just some of the Brave Conquerors Fear stories we've shared this year. Incredibly strong people who strengthen, teach, and inspire us all.